Research in Motion releases the latest jewel in their crown of technology, the Playbook. Tech expert Carmi Levy tells me the Playbook is great for those already loyal to the BlackBerry brand. If you've got a BlackBerry, the Playbook plays very nicely on top of that. It uses your existing data plan. It syncs very cleanly with it wirelessly. Author of BlackBerry Planet, Alistair Sweeney, likes the Playbook's browser, its use of Flash, and... Uh, I love the size. I think it's it's a paperback. It's the size of a paperback. That means you can put it into a suit. Sasha Sagan of PCMag.com. The Playbook is beautiful hardware. It has, uh, it feels great in the hand. The screen looks good. The core operating system is easy to use and beautiful. As for some of the early reviews that were less than stellar, Rim Cosi CEO Jim Balsillie isn't concerned. People can review it, but uh, it's an amazing product and something we can work with and grow and solve problems and delight people with right out of the gate and then extend for a long, long period of time. But where did it all start? Author of BlackBerry, Rod McQueen. Mike Lazaridis, who was the uh, founder in 1984, actually uh, was at the University of Waterloo and left a couple of months before graduation to start up his company, which he called Research in Motion. According to McQueen, even back then, there was a vision. Mike Lazaridis always had this notion about, as he called it, email on a belt. In 1992, things really took off with the arrival of Jim Balsillie. Mike Lazaridis was wise enough to know that he needed somebody with good, solid business experience, who knew about finance, who knew how to negotiate deals. It's a great combination, according to BlackBerry Planet author Alistair Sweeney. Having both be there uh, frees the Lazaridis to do all the cool things. And then in 1999, along came the first BlackBerry, tech expert Carmi Levy. It was a bit of a revelation to uh, walk into an office and see someone pull out one of those first-generation Blackberries and start using it. Uh, all of a sudden, people would be crowding around and asking what that was. The story continues today with the playbook. Research in Motion is a worldwide leader and innovator with offices all over the world. The fact they've chosen Waterloo as their home base has had a monumental impact on the region. Communitech CEO Ian Klugman. RIM's decision to, to, to build their business here has had... Um, you know, perhaps the most profound uh, effect of any any company in our history. John Lind is a commercial real estate broker with Colliers International. I don't know of another city that has one company that has the growth that RIM has and how that affects their real estate market. Author of BlackBerry, Rod McQueen. The Perimeter Institute and the number of scientists that Mike Lazaridis has attracted from around the world and the same with uh, with Jim Balsillie. But what would have been affected if they were never here? Ian Klugman. Everything from you know healthcare to the arts to the community to you know the strength of our brand. According to McQueen, there's no need to worry. They've got uh, great plans for taking over the world, but their feet are firmly placed in uh, in Kitchener Waterloo. <laughs> There is no shortage of competition in the world of cell phones, smartphones, and tablets, and each of the major players are looking for the innovation that gives them the edge. When it comes to the perceived battle between two of the biggest players, RIM and Apple, what puts RIM over the top is security. Tech expert, Carmi Levy. Really the only high security choice, the only choice that is approved by all levels of government, used by the military, used by the President of the United States, is the BlackBerry. Author of BlackBerry Planet, Alastair Sweeney, says there is a reason President Obama has one. He and uh, about uh, six other people have, have uh, a special BlackBerries that can only contact the other BlackBerry. But, I mean, the U.S. government has uh, at least half a million BlackBerries. They're far and away RIM's biggest customers. That includes, you know, the FBI and that kind of thing. And, you know, security for these people is also paramount. For RIM co-CEO Jim Balsillie, security is a hallmark of the company. Definitely security is a critical issue. I think that's the long suit of BlackBerry. It is so secure. And so the battle rages on. From its rather humble beginnings in the mid-80s to the introduction of the BlackBerry and now the Playbook tablet, suffice to say it's been a wild ride for Mike Lazaridis, Jim Balsillie, and the rest of Research in Motion. According to BlackBerry Planet author Alistair Sweeney, there could be a lot more to come. Flat or even bendable tablets uh, coming within five years. They'll be uh, wirelessly linked to your TV. That you can mirror what you have on your tablet on your TV, and also mobile payments. Forward thinking, innovation, and of course acquisitions are all key for RIM's future success. Tech expert Carmi Levy. They're buying a lot of companies, but more importantly, they're not just buying them and sort of stuffing them deep inside the bowels never to be heard from again. They're buying them, and then within a year, year and a half, 
Uh, they're introducing major new products based on these new technologies. And then there are the products. And according to RIMS co-CEO Jim Balsillay, there's a lot on the way. Wait till you see the new products. The lineup of the 6-1 Blackberries, um, they're beautiful. So we, I feel fantastic about our, our, our roadmap. No doubt Waterloo Region as a whole feels pretty good about that roadmap as well. Paul Johnson, 570 News.